Pinket. <laughs> there's Digger. It's like so early. <laughs> Pillow's probably underneath the stairs. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the channel. Um, today is a special video that is not really uh, related to topics that I have been covering. Obviously, uh, posting has been quite hard, and I'm gonna tell you the reason why. Um, posting has been hard for one of two reasons. One being technology, I'll explain fully in this video because I was gonna originally explain it on Friday, I believe. I'm not quite sure. I think it might be Thursday. You know, I lose days so fast. <laughs> but, um... This reason is because I have this phone, right, and it's an Apple. I recorded like six to seven videos, it's a whole week worth of videos on that phone. Um, and I thought I can edit on iMovie pretty well. And what ended up happening with that is um, iMovie is very hard to edit with. I personally don't really understand iMovie very well. I had to Google it. I'm sorry for the interruptions, but I had to Google it and YouTube it and see what uh, I can do. Cause I used to use iMovie when I was in high school and it was a lot easier. Uh, but also all the videos that I edited on iMovie sucked because I didn't really know what I was doing. And I also had to just use it for a project for school and I just didn't really care about it. So I didn't really use it on my own time or practice on my own time. I only used it for graded projects and stuff like that. Well, I was trying to edit on my own and it was just extremely hard and for no reason, it was just extremely hard. And I'm just used to editing on the program that I paid for. I have a lifetime plan that I paid for for editing videos and it's so much easier to use. So I had a hard time transferring files to the computer because I needed those videos to be on my computer so I can edit on my computer instead because like I said that's where I have the video editing app. So um, I tried to put it on my computer and it doesn't transfer that way. It only transfers through iCloud or some crap like that. So um, I had to upgrade my storage for iCloud because iCloud wasn't updating all of my pictures and videos onto iCloud, so once I transferred all of those files to my computer so that way iCloud is not full anymore, um, I had nothing but those five videos on my phone, like no, no photos, no videos, but those five files on my phone, and iCloud wouldn't update saying that my uh, storage is full, which is like, okay, well I have the basic plan of like five gigabytes or megabytes, whatever, so I upgrade my plan to like a dollar a month or some, something like that. And iCloud still wasn't updating to those five videos. And it's not like my videos are very long. Uh, the longest video I had was like 24 minutes long, unedited. And I'm just like, okay, well that's weird because I just upgraded my plan and nothing is showing up on my iCloud. Nothing, nothing is showing up. So I tried to schedule an appointment with Apple and they told me, sorry, we can't help you. So you need to call the helpline and helpline is just, I don't want to deal with that. So I had a mental breakdown and it was uh, terrible because once I filmed my videos and I have, like I filmed all of them, I delete all of my research from my phone because I don't need it anymore because I already recorded. So, so yeah, the physical Apple store could not help me and that was quite irritating. Okay then, I just won't hear in one ear, that's fine. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> All these videos are still on my phone, so I had to try and do this weird thing where I post videos on Instagram and it sucked. Um, and I don't like doing that, so I just gave up and said, you know what, I'll start recording on Monday. I'll use the weekend as a break, even though I, I want to post every day. Um, it's kind of hard when you come into a situation like that. Also, I want to let you know that when I film, I record two videos a day. So I, I record the day of, well, 
I recorded a video a day if I'm on track but today just specifically I'm gonna record for today and then for tomorrow so that way I'm a day ahead and then for tomorrow I'll record the next day's video so that way I'm still a day ahead and that's the way I like to do things so the reason I'm making this video is to update you guys on that and just let you know I'm not giving up that's not what I'm doing it's just because it was really difficult to go through all of that and just to not post anything and it was uh, well it was quite interesting to go through that experience and I will never do that again and I literally just got this phone and now I'm running into that issue and now I just have to delete those videos because they're no good and I can't post them to iMovie and I'm not gonna do the videos on Instagram thing because I already have a YouTube channel to post videos to and I'm, gonna, I'm not just gonna post videos to Instagram so I was gonna make like however many videos I missed in one day but I'm just like wh why would I do that I missed videos because I was taking a break I'm not gonna post videos for the days that I missed even though I was like taking a mental break that is the update and that is the reason why I haven't really been posting and I said one of two reasons so I already covered one the second one is because literally had a mental breakdown and I think talking about mental health is really important especially when it comes to animals because animals are a big a reason why everything is so much better when you're struggling with mental health um, unfortunately most of the cats um, I say most of the cats all the cats that I have don't understand when I'm sad because some some uh, animals do some cats do um, when I'm sad they, the cats like to run away from me because <laughs> when I uh, cry uh, they don't know that they don't realize that in their mind but there's times where I am sad and they don't know but they like go up to me and want attention anyway and that's just how they are um, so I just want to talk about it I feel as if everyone should be able to talk about mental health without getting um, weird about it I don't know it shouldn't be a thing like um, I've always talked about my mental health even when it wasn't this popular. I would say popular, but like everyone talks about it now. Um, I'm not saying everyone, but I'm saying most people on social media, they talk about it now. But when no one was really comfortable talking about it, I was one of the only people I knew that talked about it. People are ashamed to talk about it and I'm not really sure why. It's always going to be a thing and it's part of the human brain. And a lot of people go through it, like more than you realize, go through stuff like this. And everyone has anxiety. Everyone has depression. Well, not everyone. I'm not going to say everyone, but most people have depression because, especially this year, sometimes people go through experiences and it's just not great. And then that just goes along with um, how the mind reacts. And sure, it's a bunch of chemicals in the mind if you want to get scientific about it. But if you don't, it's because people go through experiences that interfere with how the brain is supposed to act and on a normal level. And uh, what happens is depression. And depression can hap happen on multiple different levels. And it can happen with people that are different. So, um, <laughs> I've had depression and anxiety since I was about seven years of age. And since then, I have matured a lot faster than most of my friends. And I say something that goes way over their heads when I was younger. And it's just because I understood the world on a different perspective than most because I matured a lot faster. Um, and I'm not going to get into why I got depressed and have anxiety because honestly, it's none of your business and it's none of mine to bring up to cause me to be even more depressed and have even more anxiety. So I recently got some help, went to a therapist, and discovered within this time of making this YouTube channel and 
making this Instagram specific to what I want to open here in the near future, the Animal Rescue Center, um, that I have, well, typically, okay, gosh, um, I'm getting overwhelmed. Um, I have gotten diagnosed with uh, severe depression and anxiety before. It's nothing new to me, and I already knew that myself, but um, yeah, uh, I recently went to a therapist, and uh, usually going to therapists is just not great for me, but I went to this therapist, and it was like a, like last week on Friday. And it was during the, the breakdown that I had, but I scheduled this appointment like weeks ahead before this crap happened. And I was uh, diagnosed from her perspective uh, with the most severe depression and anxiety. And like I said, that's not new to me, but I feel as if it's important to know just people that you don't expect to have this can have it and it's not like oh then everyone has it because everyone's acting like they don't have it or everyone has it because they're normal just like I guess me and I don't talk about it but even though this is unrelated to animals I feel like it, it shouldn't be avoided and animals really help so I have cats and they help me in a way that maybe they don't understand because even knowing that they're there and knowing that um, they're able to just help me just by hanging out with me is, um, I don't know, something that most people don't really understand. I have an uh, uh, unconditional love for animals and it's almost to like a weird emotional level, but I enjoy it. I enjoy animals more than the normal person, which is why I get so hyped up about my opinion about different animal topics. Even though I, I don't try to and I want my videos to be educational, I feel as if I should be able to have an opinion because it is my channel and it's my videos. I can do whatever I want with them. But it's my choice to make it educational so that way it benefits people more than just myself. I can't just go on a video and rant about something that makes no one benefit from it. It's, I don't know, see I'm shaking because I'm anxious, I guess I'm shaking. But this is what it's like to have anxiety and, um, and I'm not going to say it's like, oh, whenever you have anxiety it's like this. Everyone has their own anxiety, everyone has their own depression. And this is just my version of it. So I just wanted to come on here and talk about obviously the difficulties I've been having and the fact that I've been struggling because of my mental health. And I, I still wanna do these videos and still wanna talk about animals because that's what I love to do. But I'm not gonna lie, everything I do makes me anxious. Like the simplest tasks make me anxious. And I'm trying to fix that. I'm trying to put in the work to fix it, which is quite hard for me because I don't like accepting people's help. Um, so that's how I'm doing. But yeah, um, I know a lot of people go through depression and anxiety and not a lot of them like to talk about it, but I want to know that it does happen and I want people to be aware of that. And I know some people actually shame this, but it, that shouldn't be a thing. That's, um, that's something, something uh, people have to realize that um, depression and anxiety isn't just chemicals in the brain. It's, uh, it affects a person as who they are and how they act. And you can't just change that with the... A, a, a switch of a flip a flip of what a flip of a switch wow that is how my mind works anyway um it, it takes time to fix that because 
it took time for you to get to that place of depression and anxiety so it's gonna take time for it to come down to a normal level and normal is like a whole different thing but a normal level considering the fact that normal is your own definition of normal so um yeah that's what i want to talk about i don't know what else to say so that's what i'm going to end the video on so yeah um i'll see you in tomorrow's video like i said i'm going to film tomorrow's video right now it helps with my anxiety uh which has overcome my life so yeah i'll see you in tomorrow's video Here's Tigger if you want to feel better. <laughs> really, a car had to come by right now? Yeah, now he's scared. He doesn't know what that sound is. Bye, I will see you in tomorrow's video.